Hello and welcome back to Insights IS. In today's lazy lesson, we shall discuss about the center's notification declaring medical equipments used on humans or animals as drugs. The context here is that to ensure that all medical devices meet certain standards of quality and efficacy, the Union Health Ministry recently notified medical equipment used on humans or animals as drugs under Section 3 of the Drugs and Cosmetics Act. And this will be effective from April 1st, 2020. So in today's discussion, we shall try and understand the intention or objectives behind this move, its implication and what is its significance. So firstly, the issue here is that under Section 3 of the Drugs and Cosmetics Act with effect from April 1st and 2020, all medical equipments, that is equipments used on humans or animals will be treated as drugs. Alongside, the Ministry has also released the Medical Devices Amendment Rules 2020 which require mandatory registration of all medical devices. So what is the intention behind this? Well, basically there are two objectives here. One, to ensure that all medical devices meet certain standards of quality and nothing below it. Two, to make medical device companies accountable for their quality and safety of their products. And so far, only 27 medical equipments were treated as drugs. If you look at the history of the sale of medical devices in India, you will see that a majority of medical devices and their sale was unregulated in India. But things gradually changed with the introduction of the definition of medical devices in 1982 under the definition of drugs under the Drugs and Cosmetics Act of 1940. The medical devices industry further came to be under more regulation with the introduction of medical devices rules in 2017. One important change was that the old 10 device list was replaced by 4 classes that will categorize all medical devices that will be sold in India. The 4 classes were class A, class B, class C and class D. Class A included low risk type of medical devices including absorbent cotton balls, alcohol swabs etc. Class B included moderate low risk medical devices which include thermometer, VP monitoring device etc. And class C included moderately high risk medical devices which include implants etc. And class D the last one included high risk type of medical devices which are heart valve etc. So what does this notification mean for the manufacture, sale or import of medical devices in the country? See. Here once notified, the manufacture, import or sale of all medical devices will need to be certified by the Central Drugs Standard Control Organization. Further, all devices including instruments, apparatus, appliances and implants whether used alone or in combination for various purposes like diagnosis, prevention, monitoring, treatment, elevation of any disease, investigation, replacement or modification or support of the anatomy among others will be regulated under the legislation. And as per this notification, the CDSCO will be the nodal authority to investigate complaints related to the quality and safety aspects of medical devices and can suspend the registration or cancel licenses of firms. And more importantly, the medical devices referred shall be registered with the Central Licensing Authority via an online portal established by the CDSCO for the purpose. Besides, the manufacturer of a medical device or any person who imports any medical device will have to compulsorily upload the information related to that medical device for registration on the online system for medical devices. And in case of any violation of law, the companies can be penalized in a court of law. Lastly, the notification also says that all provisions of the Medical Devices Rules 2017 shall apply to the respective devices. But an important thing to note here is that these rules will apply after 30 months for low and moderate risk devices that is classes A and B and after 40 months for moderately high and high risk devices that is class C and class D. Well, the long term objective of this notification is that once all the medical devices are brought under regulations, Indian medical devices could rise to international standards. And such regulation is especially necessary in India today because the total import of medical devices is more than 75% of the total medical device sales in India. So these regulations would benefit the consumers or patients on one side and would also help Indian companies to raise up to the international standards and integrate with global standards. And more importantly, it will help create accountability. So now the companies will be accountable for their products. 
However, even this movie is not free from criticisms or apprehensions. What are they? Firstly, it is the consumer groups who are mainly worried about the performance of CDSEO in the past. They are worried of CDSEO's competence, expertise and most importantly, its commitment towards patient safety given its dismal past record. And next important thing is that, as per the given timeline, it will take a long time before many higher risk devices are regulated, that is 40 months. The concern here is especially with high risk devices falling under classes C and D which have got 40 months of buffer time. So what is the way ahead then? As of now, we urgently need comprehensive reforms to strengthen the regulatory mechanism in relation to patient's safety. And these may include guidelines for the approval of devices including clinical investigation requirements, oversight of marketing and promotion, putting in place a robust and functioning system of adverse event reporting accessible to the public, rules for voluntary and statutory recalls and patient compensation scheme.